Former congressman and defeated Republican presidential nominee Ron Paul refuses to let his campaign die. Last week, he hosted the Liberty Political Action Conference, or LPAC, where he brought together the biggest names in the liberty movement. They call themselves freedom fighters and are working to end overzealous government and take over the White House. His strategy begins with grassroots education. You have to change the people's minds before you can change the people in Washington. And that is what's happening right now, and that's why we should be excited. Representative Thomas Massey, a freshman freedom fighter, explains from the inside how members of Congress become voting zombies, so to speak. Humans are, are frail individuals, are frail beings, and that's what you have in Congress. There are 435 frail human beings who have all the same emotions and feelings that you have and that they use all of those emotions to influence you and one of the ways that they will try and convince you to vote a certain way when you're up there if you've whipped leans no or whipped undecided they bring you into classified briefing now you've been endowed with special knowledge and so it's okay if 99 percent of your constituents say to do one thing and you decide something else because now you have the special knowledge and that's how you start becoming a zombie when they start convincing you to do these things. Representative Justin Amash, the man who almost succeeded in defunding the National Security Agency, is upset with how secretive the government is about certain programs. He says he has been lied to in classified briefings. These intelligence committees are supposed to oversee the executive branch. They're supposed to work for Congress and they're supposed to work for you. And frankly, you have people on both sides of the aisle who are working together to prevent members of Congress from having this information, and it has to stop. Senator Rand Paul, who is rumored to be their presidential nominee, says you wouldn't believe the measures the government has to spy on Americans. We now have drones that are the, the size of a mosquito. We have drones that can fly up and stick to your window and look inside your house. Are they saying they need no warrant for that? My guess is they won't say that, but we really need to figure this out. But the freedom fighters have a strategy to stop the government's secrets and surveillance. The kind of things that they are trying to hide can't be hidden forever. Their biggest tool consists of leveraging education with technology. Today we have an opportunity to take technology and use it and get around the government and get to the people and get the people to resist and object to what our governments have been doing. Investigative journalist Ben Swan explains how it works. You have alternative media who's putting the information out. You have social media that then shares it. So you have a distribution platform and you have content creators. Those two things together are not controlled by one entity and so it, you know, it's kind of all over the place, but that's a good thing. It allows for information to pass uh, much more freely. And Representative Amash says it's effective. I've been using social media to get the word out about things. I think it's had a huge impact. Not only are they using technology to overcome government secrecy, Senator Rand Paul believes if Republicans would embrace these libertarian aspects, they could win the White House too. If we want a transformational event, a transformational election where Republicans become the dominant party, we could become the right to privacy. We could become the, pri the party of privacy, the party that doesn't believe in big government surveillance. They even have organizations that train candidates who support principles of civil liberties. Louis Kanshiki, chair of the Pennsylvania Republican Liberty Caucus, has a strong message for establishment Republicans. You can continue to ignore us at your peril. You won't be around that much longer if you're going to continue to, to hold on to the old paradigm of politics. Things are changing and shifting. The freedom fighters are positioning themselves to take over the Republican Party and are becoming more popular among the public. It's pretty exciting to see kind of that, that whole the liberty movement exploding the way that it is. And defeat those who just won't listen. Some zombies are just too far gone. You can't help them. Ron Paul's liberty movement is spreading like wildfire. And since this fire has sparked, there is no putting it out. Whether it's grassroots training, educational programs, or campaigning, this movement is deep-rooted and has unlimited possibilities. And Chantilly, Virginia, I'm Perry and Boring, RT.